Hi, this is Glenn Wilson, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at um, using the Night Vision Chess PGM Viewer to publish games on your website or in your blog. Um, from the main KV Chess site, kvchess.com, select a PGM Publisher option, and in the text box at the top, copy the PGM data that you've uh, pasted from the chess tool that you're using, chess base, chess base light, maybe it's a um, online um, website that you play chess on. You also can type the PG in here, but typically this data would come from a tool. And I've uh, pasted in one of my favorite Paul Morphy games. Then uh, scroll down and hit the preview button, and you'll see the game that you've just pasted in there in the viewer. And you can see what it's like to play through it a bit. Um, etc. So this is a live viewer and below that is the HTML that you would need to copy and paste and put into your website or your blog for this game to show up. That's all you need to know to get started. Now we're going to talk about a few uh, more advanced options. Let's say you don't like these colors and you want different colors to show up in your blog. You can pick different colors here from the color thing like uh, Midnight, then Preview, and you'll see different predefined set of colors. Let's try green and preview. I get this uh, green color. Some people don't think it's all that attractive, but they want green. Um, one of the things you can do is, you know, also override more specifically the colors if you don't like the colors in the color theme. Um, I'm going to override the dark color here with a hexadecimal value that's a dark green. Um, if you don't know these values, and most people aren't going to, the FAQ, and there's a link here, can give you uh, additional help on finding and using the right values. So I did that for the dark color override. and See, it changes the color here above the moves text and the dark colors on the chessboard. I'm also going to make it the background color by specifying the background color override and, and then doing a view, uh, preview. And if your website or blog is using this color as its background, you now have a viewer that's going to blend in very nicely. Uh, another uh, neat option in the viewer is to be able to specify a starting move for the board when it first displays. And that's the initial diagram position in half moves. I'm going to put in 32, which will have the initial position be after Black's 16th move. Now I do a preview and I see the position after Black has moved King to F8, which is the uh, key diagram or key position in this game. There's some other options here. You can um, try, say, board only and do a preview. That doesn't show the, the moves. You can also specify the width and the height, either in terms of a percentage or an absolute pixel value. And if we go back to 100% width, we're going to turn on the variations tab and do a preview. The variations tab causes um, variation options to show up in the space between the board and the text. So when I'm in a line that has variations defined in the PGN file, your user will see these options to navigate between the variations. Now you also can just select them, um, but these tabs are an interesting and useful way to, to navigate among those as well. Once I've got this um, with the appearance that I want, then I come down here, Control-A, Control-C, to select all and then copy it. And I go to Blogger, do a new post, I'm in HTML mode, paste the HTML in here, and I can do a preview. And I'll see what that's going to look like. 
Now the blog that I'm publishing to does not have a green background and the width is pretty severely constrained. So the options that I picked aren't the best for this site, but that's how you can see how it's going to look in your blog and how you can publish your game using the Night Vision PGM Viewer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.